So today we have an S366 T4, just a box unit. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a 63. Find out. T4, oh, so T4, and it's the 8073, which is technically an 8074. The only difference is it's flipped. The uh, OD measures the same thing. It's just nomenclature, so if you say it out loud, we know the difference. T4 divided the standard deal. And there it is. Nothing wrong with this turbocharger. Problem is, is I'm pretty sure it is on a first gen or 24 valve. And uh, T4.91 cut on a 24 valve. That's not making some serious steam. It's way over turbine. I think it might even be a manual trans. RTV on the bottom. I'm gonna have to fix that. Gaskets are cheap. Gaskets let your oil drain flow as much as it's supposed to. RGB is cheap. And if you're not careful, it does what happened to this one. It blocks off a lot of the drain. This can cause the turbocharger to leak oil from the front or the back. This one seems to be just fine. But that being said, It's not doing it now. I don't mean we'll do it later. I don't think he has too many miles on this thing. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty schnoo. Uh, D4.91 with the 8074 turbine. Clipped. So it's nomenclature is the 73. Kind of neat seeing these hot spots that are on here. Um, 13's at, so the impact will just use the wrench. You guys can see that. There we go. RTV. That's RTV plus a gasket. That's like uber steep. 
airs technically speaking, only crankcase pressure on the drain gasket. Shouldn't leak as long as the gasket's decent. You don't even gotta put new ones in all the time. Uh, if you WD-40 both sides of the drain gasket before you put it on, depending on how many thermal cycles it goes through before it comes off, uh, it'll be perfectly fine. And it'll come off of both sides, both the turbo and the drain without sticking. It'll take it. This one's gonna get changed to a 68 turbine and put into a nine centimeter housing. It's all labeled. Now this is the old SX3 comp cover. This is a SX3 compressor wheel. Old version. Here's the clip. On the 8074, which then changes its nomenclature to 8073. It's still an 8074. It's just clipped. So it increases the flow rate, usually. Okay. Yeah. I think trash can trips could take that thing for it. So, Given this thing is already in good shape, we shouldn't have to do nothing to it. Other than clean it, get all that gasket material off of there. Put in the new turbine wheel, rebalance it. So next, take it apart, open it up, get the thrust collars out of it, and check its condition. Now if you're curious about the differences between an SX3 and an SXE, the main one's the compressor cover. Yes, the SXE has more fancy tidbits on the outside, but the big deal is the diffusion region. So a diffusion region is region after the compressor wheel's exducer where the airflow diffuses. So we're changing it from high velocity to low velocity and from lower pressure to higher pressure. What Borg did with the SXEs is they changed the shape and the length of the diffusion zone. That allows the system to flow quite a bit more because, sorry the wheel's so tiny, this is out of a little Subaru thing that they don't make parts for no more. Um, but that's it. I get kind of questions about the SXE and the SX3. Um, I always, you know, you hear all kinds of stuff about the radius inlet on the front is like what makes them all magical or some junk like that. Nope. All in here. Uh, if you get a chance, pay attention. Look at um, compressor covers for diesel applications and then look at compressor covers for gasoline applications. Um, that diffusion region versus the compressible design, those two go together. Uh, like like baking stuff that tastes good. Um, and they're designed in a way for a purpose. So that, that you could say you can on paper technically probably say there's nothing wrong with this. You know, if you use this cover on an application where neither the wheel or the cover or nothing was trying to be used at its maximum flow rating or at some crazy pressure ratio, probably, you know, be just fine. Um, but if you go look at like diesel applications, typically higher rotor speeds, uh, lower engine speeds, and higher uh, boost pressures. Um, typically all these turbochargers that are design, you know, designed for diesel applications uh, tend to have wheel designs that have higher accelerations on the compressor wheel and larger diffusion regions to move where the pressure rise 
point in the diffuser where the recovery zone is at, um, they move that away from the wheel uh, a certain distance to allow the wheel to maintain an efficient flow region coming off of its exducer. Um, so as like the PRs get higher, uh, generally the covers tend to get uh, a little bit bigger because um, they're trying to move the uh, where that pressure zone is farther and farther away from the wheel set. And then that, you know, so that pressure will move its way up. As the uh, more and more diffuser gets used, so say at operating conditions, the pressure spike or the raise in pressure, main raise in pressure is out here. But as the pressure ratio gets higher and as the flow rate gets higher, that pressure recovery zone where it recovers up to the target pressure starts to move a little closer, closer, and it doesn't ever get right up to the wheel, unless it backflows. Um, but it starts to get up in this region, and, and when these pressure signals get close to each other, uh, that's usually when efficiency starts to fall off, flow starts to, um, not necessarily like fall off, it just starts, it just stops gaining like more flow than it was uh, before. So that was a long little tidbit, right? Uh, back to the S300 thing. Got it on here. Pump cleaner, change the turbine wheel out from the 8073 to 7868. It is a S366, so I'm gonna calibrate, spin it up, and we're gonna see what we're seeing. I think we're all done working on this. Turbine. Presser. It's me. More so it's just shaking, trying to hold it with one hand. Time to assemble. Mm -hmm. Going to be putting a 360 thrust in this. Diesel applications should all have this. This is what all SX3s come with and older S4s. Just pick it. This is a 270. This is a 360. Why the bigger thrust? Well, the most important thing is deflection. These things are supported on the outside. So on the bottom, they're supported all the way to this ring right here. On the top, they're supported on the outer ring. If you get enough drive pressure, what you can have happen is it will deflect upwards. And to flex upwards, the way these work no longer works. It will lose the oil shear and it will cause the collar to contact. Now this one has contact on the face side and the thrust side. Usually what that is, 
is from search. So when the turbos surge, it pressure spikes the compressor side. And that can cause the rotating assembly to what I like to call do a bounce. All a bounce is, is a large pressure spike on the wheel set, mainly the compressor wheel, that occurs rapidly. That pressure spike can be 60 PSI plus. Now, say it was 60 PSI doesn't seem like much, but let's say drive pressure is 10. You have the surface area of the turbine wheel with 10 pounds per square inch, and you have the surface area of the compressor wheel with this is bad after the one thing that we just went over. Let's just use this case. 60 pounds per square inch. What it'll do is it's gonna shove hard on this face surface. And if it breaks the oil film, it'll whack the thrust surfaces. These thrust surfaces, so between each one of those oil galleys is tapered, as you can see. Where my finger is, it's hit. You knock these down enough, these no longer work. And what these do is they raise the oil pressure on the surface to a much higher pressure than your oil pump's pressure. This one has more thrust pads. You cannot go in and start grooving between thrust pads. They're tapered. If you groove between the pads, do the same thing that you're doing by surging this thing and tearing this thing up. If you're curious, can you kill 360? Yep. Here is the baddest of the bad. There's a 360 steel. This was from on throttle surge, so the turbo going into unsteady state flow to an extreme degree while trying to accelerate, not letting off the throttle. This caused it to break the oil film on the face. The thrust collar, because this is steel, heated up rapidly. You see the bluing on this guy here. And the bluing. And it killed it quite fast. That's usually the bane of thrust systems. So thrust systems, rigidity, ability to take heat generated during this process, as well as heat from the turbine side, and eject it. So absorb heat as well as reject heat back out of its system. And then the thrust design is just there as a tapered surface called a convergent thrust surface to heat parts off parts. So by having a convergent surface, these can get smaller. These would have to be extraordinarily huge if they were just flat surfaces. Or, anytime we tried to run high pressure applications, we would kill them. Either or. By running a, a convergent surface, it allows us to shrink the size of the bearing, uh, as well as run higher pressures, both compressor and turbine size. So, the main reason that I like 360s is their ability to handle more heat and to reject more heat back out of them, uh, as well as their rigidity. So these things have to be flat. And they do get bent from pressures. When pressures get too extreme for the system, it will bend the surface. You remember the surface pressures on these things are extraordinarily high. They're not oil pressure and they are not one-to-one uh, -one with the pressures on the wheel set. That's the main reason um, anything that's high pressure, so diesel or small displacement uh, spark ignition that's going to be run high boost, or you know crazy pro mod stuff, big displacement, big boost. Um, for the most part, these guys work perfectly fine on applications where the turbo size to either not surge or you have a BOV, as well as the pressure ratios are going to be substantially lower. You're not asking the wheel set itself to hold higher loads per square inch. So, 
back to putting this all together. That's what I'm getting a 360 put in. So, 270 is damaged anyways. I debated using it if it looks brand new. But it doesn't. So it's got to go back to build. Thank you.